Last week we made it to Scotland. We're going to be here for the next six to eight weeks. And in today's video, we're exploring the UK's largest national park. What the hell? Oh my God. Strange things are happening in Cairngorms. Be careful, be careful. Don't do that. You have to watch your step if you don't want to get wet. Hey there, we're Charlene, Chris and Holly. And we've been living and traveling full time in our motorhome for almost two years now. Good morning everyone! We're feeling much better today and we are going to do a short hike. We're a bit hungry already. <laughs> Holly is ready for her walk. She knows that we're going somewhere, so oh, she's crying. She doesn't have any patience to wait for us and get ready. Now that was a really amazing drive through the mountains here in Scotland. It felt like we were back in the Alps for a moment. It's a bit misty today, but we've stopped at this place. It's called Bernovat. Very nice place and it's really well organized as well. Because there was also this sign which said like campus can stay for one night and there's also a chemical toilet all for free. So really good. We're really happy to see stuff like this. Although I don't think we'll be staying here because we want to move on tonight, but it's always good to have it as an option. We're on a very short walk and I can already feel the uniqueness of this place. This looks very mystical. There is water trickling down the stream. There are some bridges as well. There should be some rock formations here and also a waterfall. So we are just passing through this hole in a rock. There's water flowing down. Watch out, Holly. <laughs> you have to watch your step if you don't want to get wet. Like a little waterfall over here. We are here in this beautiful place. It's so unique. We like this open air cave. There's water dripping from everywhere. And we can finally see where all this water is coming from. <laughs> If you look up, all you see are trees and rocks. It was a wonderful hike. If you want to climb up some rocks, then you get to the waterfall. Come and do it. Nothing too difficult, though. No, no, no. To be honest with you, the weather is just perfect. It's about 10 degrees at the moment, which might be a bit cold for spring, but for hiking, it's actually perfect. And it's not too cold and not too hot. Just the perfect temperature. On our way back to the van, we bumped into one of the few remaining traditional dancers in the UK, the Scottish Morris Men. because we saw them dancing it was wonderful <laughs> so cool that these people keep keep the traditions alive yeah i think in about 20 30 years time no everything's gonna be dead mm -hmm. definitely <laughs> and this footage will be history <laughs> it will be we want to go and explore the northern part of Cairngorms, and just now we've realized how huge it is when compared to the other national parks we've been in we've just been driving like 30 minutes 40 minutes and today i've just put it in and it's a nearly two hour drive just to get to the other part of Cairngorms. but let's go we're going <laughs> are so epic. So we're passing through this area again, full of rabbits. They're so nice to see on the side of the road, but you have to watch out because some of them decide to cross the road as well. And I don't want to be running over any rabbits today. The day's going good so far. I don't want to ruin it. I've never seen so many rabbits at one go in my life. <laughs> the land of rabbits and sheep. We are the Morris men. Dance for me. <laughs> coming up, people, we're going up. Hold on tight. Are we gonna do it? Uh, okay, so we've just arrived at this bridge and I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of like this. So you're going all the way up and then down. I think we'll be okay though. Uh, I guess so. Now that looks scarier than it actually was. That bridge is called Garn Shield Bridge. It's an old humpback bridge. It's lovely, but I never saw something like that, to be honest. So now we're driving up this hill and there was another van that passed by and he gave us the thumbs down. We don't know why. 
Is he trying to warn us or was he just yeah. messing with us? <laughs> There's no sign, I don't think he's been fine. It's just a very, very steep hill. Uh, we saw a bus as well with the tourists, but why did he do this? I'm so curious now. I think they were just messing with us, bloody hell. Whoa, look at this. Are we in Faroe Island? This is what it feels like. Be careful, babe. Oh, that's why, because it's misty. Mamma mia, I hate this. Where are we going? I think we should have waited in a lay-by or something. For what though? The fog might get worse. For the fog to pass. Be careful, be careful on the left. Can't really see, man. So you have to keep your eyes peeled and on the road at all times. But seeing that the fog is quite thick, we can only see like one second ahead maybe, so if the sheep wanders onto the road, we need to stop. The fog is just like thick all the way through, it's not even yeah. clearing up. No, it seems no. to be getting worse. Mamma mia. You should stop the thing. Why? Or no? Uh, my anxiety levels are so high right now. Yeah, we've driven rental cars through fog so many times, but this is our home we on wheels. Yeah, through this really, really thick fog. It doesn't seem to be getting better. No. But we just keep on going slowly, I guess. 10% now, look. There. That's why that guy did thumbs down <laughs> because it's not nice There's with no the fog. There is no view. But we want to get to the other side, so we had to pass from here anyway. I thought something was wrong or maybe it was too narrow for us, but thank God it was just the fog. Oh, look! I can't even see him waving. No, we can see. <laughs> so there we go. Nice. This is better. Ice, ice, baby. Relax a bit now. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice. The landscape has totally changed here. Everything is brown and then there's like this yellow grass as well. Oh my God, I'm so impressed with the landscape here. So I've just pulled over now and for some strange reason, the van is kind of moving and it's going uphill on its own. I don't know if it's just me, but this is uphill, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean... Yeah, uphill. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's in free. What? Look, 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 look. Turn the steering wheel. <laughs> what the hell? Look, look, we're going uphill. Okay, this is new. What the hell? Okay, so there is this spot here that your car can drive on its own, basically. I heard about something like this, but I didn't know it wasn't here in Ken Gorms, was it? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my God. But when you're not expecting it, it's a bit <laughs> shocking. I told you we're on Mars, strange things are happening. I can't really believe that we're driving through this national park. We're on this beautiful part of the world. It's so diverse here. The landscape keeps on changing every five minutes. Sometimes you're in a forest and then all of a sudden you're on top of a mountain. Ooh, it's absolutely gorgeous here. If you ever come to the UK and you're going to do a road trip like we're doing, make sure to put this on your list because it's wonderful. So hungry, I can't wait to get to this parking spot so we can eat. The weather should be a bit better as well now, so yeah, maybe we eat and we'll have like a beautiful sunset, who knows. We're passing through some amazing roads in Scotland. Welcome to the Scottish Highlands. So that two hour drive quickly turned into a three or four hour drive, but it was very, very scenic. We've made it to this area called Glenmore. We've just parked up now. There's a few other bands here. We just parked on the side of the road. And I think obviously the best thing here is the view of the lake in the distance. I think we should be able to spend a quiet night here. As with the rest of our UK trip, the wind is picking up again.
The life cannot get better than this. Look at this wonderful view we got outside. Absolutely stunning. Plus pancakes. Plus pancakes. <laughs> got a beautiful view of the lake as well. What's the culture? Loch Morlick. Loch Morlick there in the distance. From the sparking spots, if we're lucky enough, we can spot some wildlife as well. There are about 150 reindeer here and yeah, I really would love to see some. Let's see if we're lucky enough like we were in Exmoor National Park. But it's so hard to spot them because it's brown. Today we're not lucky with the reindeer, but we're a bit lucky with the weather because although it's a bit windy, we have a wonderful sunset. This is madness being up here. Good morning. Not gonna lie, we didn't have the best of nights last night. For some strange reason, the wind decided to pick up as soon as I was about to go to sleep, and it was really, really horrible. Very high winds about midnight up until two o'clock in the morning when it finally calmed down, and I managed to get to sleep. But this view waking up here this morning has definitely made it worth it. So we wanna have a bit more of an explore around this place today, although it would be nice just to stay here, to be honest. But no, we need to get moving in a couple of hours because we wanna see some more places in the National Park here. But we do wanna make some breakfast first, and we've also bought some wee haggis. I don't know what this is made of. I think it's the insides of Liver, a cow or something. Yeah, Of a cow, is it? or No. Pork lungs, sheep, sheep, I think. Pork lungs, beef liver, lamb lungs, beef heart. So yeah, it's just a bunch of insides. That normally sounds healthy, but will it be tasty? I don't know. We're going to try it with our breakfast today. We haggis. Wow, it's so beautiful outside. It's not even that cold, to be honest. It's much warmer than yesterday. But it's really nice just to be here and have a nice mountain view for a change. I know, like at the moment, a lot of cars have come because it's quite a busy area for hiking and it's a weekend today as well. So we're not as kind of remote as we were yesterday, but it's a pretty nice view if you ask me. And we're just contemplating whether we stay here, maybe do a quick hike here as well this morning, or whether we get moving to see more of Kengons. But anyway, let's try this haggis. So I'm trying the haggis with eggs, tomatoes, and bacon. It's actually quite tasty, to be honest. A bit of cheese as well. I can taste some spices or herbs, which they've added to it, I guess, but it's quite tasty, to be honest. So the wind's picking up again slowly here. So we're gonna head down towards one of the lakes, because we are quite high at the moment. So Cairngorm is about 1,300 meters high. Uh, it's quite weird being like next to a ski slope in Scotland. I don't really like associate Scottish people with skiing for some reason. Yeah, we're on a mountain pass. We're gonna kind of head down and try and find a bit more shelter at one of the lakes because tonight is gonna be much more windier. So better get moving. I've got a headache again, to be honest, like last three, four days have been a bit horrible for me. Just like feeling blocked. Some days I feel better, like yesterday I was all right, but today I'm feeling a bit blocked again. So yeah, we're just gonna head down, take it a bit easy, and hopefully a bit of nature will clear me up again. Now we're back on the road, we left from the parking spot. I think it's the easiest climb to get to a summit <laughs> because we were so close to the summit, to be honest. And apart from that, there are so many trails that one can do here as well. We have a beautiful sunny day today. There are so many events here in this area. Today is Sunday and it's packed. Yes, this Lake Morlick seems to be very, very popular. There's so many people here. Along this road, there are so many places where you can just stop for a bit and enjoy the wonderful views of Lake Morlick. We saw this parking spot and we've just parked here. Chris is going to rest with Holly and I'm going to take this opportunity to go for a short walk in the forest and maybe I get to see some red squirrels. You know I love red squirrels. Wish me luck. Yeah. 
So far, nothing. a bonus that I don't have Holly with me as well because usually, I don't know, she scares them off. <laughs> we just have to pull over on the side of the road because there's so many beautiful horses here and what an amazing backdrop. We just stopped off now at Loch Eileen this afternoon. It's a very sunny day, so we're not going to miss out. Uh, we just parked up there, very large parking space, and we're heading towards the lake just now. I really needed that nap in the afternoon, feeling a bit better now. Basically, I've been like on and off, one day good, one day bad. Here we are. I think this is our favorite place we've visited so far. It's a beautiful lake, as you can see. We totally feel like we're in another planet. There is calm and serenity here that you don't find anywhere else. So peaceful. What a difference from Lake Morlik that we drove past <laughs> earlier on that was packed with people. For some strange reason, every place has that spot, you know, like where everyone flocks to. Um, I guess there's a lot of like water sports and activities and stuff for kids. So everyone goes to that place, yeah. near Glenmore and Morlik Lake. But I'm so glad we carried on driving because this is our vibe, right? Yeah, it's much more quiet, <laughs> much more quiet and peaceful here. And like, there's only a few people about and everyone's got like their own little beach to explore. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. So the weather here in Scotland, as usual, is very deceiving. One day you're wearing your trousers and your hoodie and you're feeling cold. And the next day you're in your shorts and feeling comfortable. <laughs> and the water looks so inviting, right? Yeah, it's beautiful here, really beautiful. And I can't believe there's not so many people here. Everyone's at the other lake. Yeah, they're missing out. <laughs> we are going to start an exciting trip in the next few days. So over the coming weeks, we're going to be doing the North Coast 500, which is a 500 mile uh, route across the North Coast. So we're going from east to west uh, here in Scotland. So we're super excited to start that series in the coming weeks. And this was kind of our first taste of Scotland and we love it already. We love it so much. I don't want to leave. Oh, what a lovely breeze. In the middle of this lake, there's actually like a small island and it's got these ruins on it. This place is really, really impressing me. I feel like I'm in Norway all of a sudden. It's so secluded, this place, that you feel like you're on your own. This place is amazing. Cairngorms, we got our approval. This was just supposed to be a stop before we start our next adventure along the north of Scotland, but to be honest, we could stay here much longer as well. So beautiful. I love the this national park is so huge here that even yesterday, like to drive from one end to the other, it took us about three hours with stops, obviously. And there are some locations where it's like really busy and others where you can kind of enjoy on your own as well. you get this weather in Scotland. They have everything. One thing that they don't have is warm weather. I can't believe it. But in winter, this will be all in white. 
when you look at it, it looks like summer, you know? It's like sea with the waves coming in. Very gentle waves. I wish to swim right now, but it's so cold. <laughs> you can do white camping here, I think, because I can see a camp just over there. No, oh, this one go! Choose to go in again. You're Just loves the water so much. Come on, let's go, Pupa. Come on. Get up there. Come here, get up. Good girl. Give me your paws. Good girl. Give me your paws. You're feeling cold. Oh my god, you're so cold. She can't get out of the water. Wait, no, don't go again. No, Holly, no, 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 no. Get up. <laughs> We're just about to head back to Tandy now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you back on the road to start the NC500. Looking Ciao. forward, bye. Bye guys, see you next week. I'm trying to catch up with her. She's too fast.